All right, hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and we're back for some more of the Twilight Princess HD Let's Play, and if you didn't miss out there on the last one, well, we have made it here to the Gruul Desert area, did a little bit of some exploration from here, found the piece of the Bridge of Elden that we did need, and from there, uh, we were able to go and head back to that previous location from before, um, where we found that female mantis. Well, there is a entrance way uh, for where a cave is going to be, and that is where we actually were able to find a stamp and a heart piece, to be exact, within our time. But now we're all the way back over here now over in the Gru desert area and uh we are going to have to go but before reaching off into the arbiter grounds we do have the king of bulblin hideout that is going to be showing up here around within this way and uh this is where you're going to have to go and do quite a bit of some metal gear solid link style type of stuff that's going to happen from here and uh, you're going to have to go and use a uh, majority of your time of having to go and use the bow and arrows um now there is going to be uh, some pose that you can go and search around within this way uh so just be on the lookout for those uh, I think there's actually one that is just right around within this exact uh, facility here and that uh, we can go and try to find uh, where that guy is going to be. Um, now, within these two videos for today, not only are we going to just be doing out here with just, of course, with Twilight Princess HD, but we are going to be moving on into some more of the Yokai Watch 3. Uh, from there, uh, I want to say within Yokai Watch 3, we are going to be moving off into Chapter 7, so there's going to be some other things to go and do from there, and uh, hopefully you guys go and check out on that. But there we go, that's another puzzle for what we do need, and very happy for that, our time for there, because we do need at least 20 amount of those different puzzles to at least go and find, and uh, once we go and do, we should at least help out with that guy back over at Castletown. Now, the levers are going to be making their appearance here. I don't know if I already went and said that, uh, but the levers are something new here within this area that we will be able to go and uh, search around uh, with our time of this place, so just be careful with those levers. I know that we've seen them before in some other places, but... They do make their uh, reappearance here in this place. Now, we're going to have to be very stealthy around this way, and this is where we're going to have to go and put more of our bow and arrow to the test, because we just have to watch out for all of those bull blends on those towers. Uh, now, there's going to be another one just around in uh, this type of last final part. I'm not going to show you guys every single place that happens around here within the hideout, uh, because uh, there is quite a bit of bull blends that you don't really want to have to go and try to wake up here, but sometimes if you do, uh, there's like a horde of them that will actually like show up, and uh, it's not too great, uh, but at least I have been uh, doing... At least somewhat pretty decently well throughout here because i know that we've done it before on the channel and uh, i know that i had a little bit of problems when i went and did that before on the original series but here for now it's actually not all that too bad now if you hear something shimmering around in the distance that means that there is a small key here for us and uh just go and uh use out on that small key and that is where king bulblin is going to be making his appearance again and this time we're actually doing an actual one-on-one -on -one battle together and that is what's going to happen here. It's not going to be any type of dueling type of situation where we went and did that before, at least in two type of situations here. Uh, but now we're actually going to have to do an actual uh, battle for now. And uh, make sure that before you actually do go and do this battle here, uh, remember that wolf move that we went and picked up a little bit of a while ago? Well, we did go and find uh, that one type of move where we're able to go and kind of dip around the side and kind of give him the back strike there. Well, we're going to be able to go and do that uh, for this battle because this is going to help you out tons and tons and tons of times uh, for this because uh, it's going to be super nice and super easy that we don't ever have to go really worry about too much of this battle here. Uh, unfortunately, he may probably get at least like maybe one lick out on you uh, within this battle, so you're going to probably at least lose a little bit of health, but either way, it doesn't really matter because as long as you know how to do the backstrike, you should be able to just at least uh, make sure to get this guy out of the way. And we're almost done here too, so just have to do a little bit of some jump slashes there, and just like that, we already got King Bulbin already done. Now this part kind of makes me laugh a little bit, because like this guy kind of, <laughs> like once he gets back up, he kind of just like looks at you and, and going like, uh, you big meanie, <laughs> see, <laughs> he goes like, you big meanie, and then he just like just walks away. <laughs> but he does have something up his sleeve though, even though they kind of, is in this injured state he's gonna basically cause this whole place to go on fire so just be careful for what this is gonna happen so this is where that boar here in this uh, stable that's gonna be happening is gonna come in handy for our time to go and bust through and reach our way to the arbiter grounds so let's go and do it and uh, just make sure that you line up the hit here properly oh. <laughs> I don't know why I had to go and dismount off of there. I should have just at least just went and stayed on there for a little bit, but here we go. 
just rampage on through now uh, unfortunately uh, what the boar is that uh it has to like hit his head somewhere uh so at some point we are gonna have to be running into something like that here uh but for right now we're okay because we just went and jumped through a uh, an actual screen but sometimes if you go and hit like the wrong type of direction he will kind of uh well i have to take a little bit of some time until like he kind of like uh brings himself back together and then you could go and use the boar again but at least we haven't really done anything. But uh, after when you come back, uh, there is a uh, free Poe right here uh, that you can go and just uh, be able to go and pick up if you're on your way of trying to collect all of the different Poe souls. But here's another Poe soul right here that we can go and grab. And just like that, we already got him already finished and done with, and we can now go and add that. But uh, speaking about with Poe's, um, here in the Arbiter Grounds, we are going to have to be on the lookout for, I think, four different Poe creatures that we're going to have to go. The big Poe's, to be exact. And we are going to be able to go and fight off with one of them so far, and uh, we're going to have to go and take care of all of them uh, for what's going to happen for the next episode. Because just like how we did before back in Ocarina of Time in the Forest Temple, there was quite a bit of different big Poe's that were around within that area, or the different color Poe's that we had to go and find uh, to go and at least open up with the area to continue onwards. Uh, and that's exactly what we're going to have to do here. So, let's just go and reach our way, oh, almost to the entrance. But there is a little bit of another certain something something here. And uh, if you do have your lamp with you, you can go and activate with this guy here. And this is where we'll be able to go and get ourselves with some more rupees. So, if you ever in need for some more rupees, this is the place to go ahead and do so. So, there we go. Very nice. Okay, so onwards we go down below here. Okay, so here we are at the very beginning of the Arbiter Grounds. And uh, as you guys can go and see is that since there is a lot of sand over here, we are going to have to run into some quicksand as well too in the process. And uh, that's just going to be just lovely here. <laughs> now... Remember when we got that claw shot? Well, this claw shot is going to be something that is going to become uh, somewhat a little bit in handy for what's going to happen. And yeah, there is going to be some of these type of annoying uh, creatures that like to go and show up from where the quicksand is. So just be on the uh, lookout for any of those. And uh, you can actually get some hearts from some of these different skull heads. So if you ever are in the need of uh, retrieving out a little bit of some hearts, you can go ahead and do so here. Here comes out another one of these guys, but it's all right. Not too much of an issue there. And yeah, just make sure that in any type of given point around within this area is that you want to at least try to roll on into some of the different spots where you don't have to try to get yourself sucked up by the sand. But here we go. So now what we're going to have to go and do here is that we're going to have to go and grab up with the claw shot, pull this guy ahead on the head here, and use the iron boost just like how we did before back in the... Uh, in the Goron area from there and do a little bit of a pull and just like that we have now finally got the door opened up and now we can just move on ahead and there is a locked door so how in the heck are we going to be able to find where this locked door is going to be but I have to say uh, for what this place is for what this whole area is going to be is actually uh, somewhat re uh, relatively nice uh, they actually give you somewhat of a nice good easy type of chest to go and get yourself with a small key so there we go. But there's something inter uh, interesting that's going to happen here. And if you go and kind of turn around, you can see that there's a whole bunch of these bugs. And uh, yeah, if you go and put on your C-stick here, you can see all the bugs just literally just jump on you all over the place. That would just be like a jump scare and a half for somebody who doesn't like bugs. <laughs> just go and just press on that C-stick. But there we go. Get the small key, open up with the door here, and we're almost to the main hub area. And yes, uh, here in the Arbiter Grounds, there is a main hub in this place that we are going to have to go and backtrack quite a bit of some ways around over here. But after a little bit of some time, and if you went and knocked out with all the different skeletons out here, well, well, not all the different skeletons, but if you got most of them, you can just go and try to open up with the torches, and just like that, open up the door here, and there is the main hub area. Okay, so uh, let's go and reach all the way here, and there is those four big poses. Each of those uh, flames are going to be something that we do need to go and open up with the door here. 
And one of those big posts is going to be right in this direct vicinity. So things will be uh, at least a little bit nice here for us for now. Uh, but we, be, but uh, I think we will actually be able to uh, get the big post sent. And uh, we'll be able to go and use that for a nice good advantage out here to find where these guys are going to be. So yes, unfortunately the door is going to get permanently shut now without having those flames there. Okay, and here we go. It looks like we're going to have to transfer it into Wolf Lake. So yeah, this whole Arbiter Grounds, I'm going to have to say, is going to be a very awesome type of place to go and be around because uh, I think there's one mini boss that's in here where I do believe you actually do have the option to go and switch between uh, within our time of using Wolf Lake and also with Normal Link here as well. And uh, we're going to have to uh, do some sort of mini boss battle with that. There we go, and just like that, we got our first of many flays for here, and it's going to go and get placed on into one of those different pedestals, and I think for that being said in mind, I think this is where we're going to have to go and end off with the episode for today. Thank you guys so much for going and checking out here for the series of Twilight Princess HD. See you guys in the next one, and of course, peace.